Um, this is a sleeper uh, with a pouch on the inside. It allows your rat or ferret to go inside from the top. Um, and there's a little hole in there. And it just dangles on just like that. And they can climb inside. Um, the other one is a tube that you can <laughs> that you can fasten. Um, and mine goes up here. So you can go inside at the top and go all the way through and come out the bottom. Um, this is just a simple hammock. Um, I have a double one because they like their doubles that like to sleep in there. So um, anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how to make some um, a feet today. <laughs> You start by cutting a rectangle out of your fleece. And then from the end, cut a piece about an inch and a half long. So you end up with two pieces like this. The next thing that you want to do is you want to take this extra piece and take four pieces and cut it up. Make sure that the fleece stretches this way. The next thing is you want to take the longer edges, because this side's longer than this side, you want to take the longer edges and you want to fold the fleece in half, just like that, so that you have edges and one piece. Once you have your fleece folded in half with the two edges and the one edge, you're going to start cutting um, across the double edge with scissors and you're going to make cut after cut after cut after cut. Don't make them too wide, but don't make them too thin. When you start cutting, about two inches is adequate. Make sure that your scissors are sharp, otherwise this is going to be extremely painful. That's it. Because you folded this in half, you have the same number of cuts on both sides of your fleece. And when it's opened, it should look kind of like this. At this point, you take your fleece and you fold it together and you start tying your fringe in knots. Don't miss any because there's going to be holes left. And as you tie, it's going to start coming together. Once you've tied all the tops, it will look a little bit weird, but all you have to do is use both of your hands and stretch it. Fleece is hard to break, so don't worry about breaking it. And you almost have your tube done. At this point, what you want to do is you want to make four holes. Make sure that they're small because, again, fleece stretches. And if you make the holes too big, they will um, be gaping holes at the top. I like to use smaller scissors for this. And I make the holes really tiny. Make sure that they're about even. Once you have your holes in, take your four pieces of fleece and stretch them. You're going to tuck each piece into your hole and pull it through. And 
and then tie it in a knot. Cut the excess fleece at the top, as this can be tempting for your rats to chew. And do that on all four sides. Once you have all four of your little loops done, and remember to only do this on the top part of the tube. Don't punch holes through the bottom because this is how it's going to hang up in the cage. At the end, all you have to do is take your simple hooks and hook them on. And do that on all four of your loops and your tube is ready to go. And here's the finished product.